So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys wanted a theme song shortened, so here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Casey Snow for edge and entertainment purpose. Hi, every mm -mm. Hi everyone. More to hear. So, finish the first story in um, Fast uh, Tales of the Beast Blocks um, 8, B72. So, this is technically a. The first story is a sequel to an other one that was technically that was in the second book, Habs. So maybe this is just maybe these books are just um them doing sequels and finishing the stories that they did last one because really um the, the game this is based off of is now gone done. But I guess some stories are not finished. And they want to um, but, um finish those stories. So I never what happened to Billy, um, B seven. That he was trying to um, hurt himself in the junkyard because he didn't like the fact that he was a robot, but he's actually a human trying to be a, a robot, an animatronic. But he was um, found by a bunch of um, but found by cops and brought to the hospital. Really found by um, the junkyard guy looking for bird watching. He's been in the hospital for a while. And now this book kind of reminds me of um, the story reminds me of. Do you ever read um, Scary Story Tales? And the first one I read when I was a little kid that was read to me. Where's my big toe? It reminds me of this one because the fact that the um, animatronic skin comes after Billy in the hospital. Then Billy eventually rejects it. Like he's been like he's been having a great life, having a good time, and get, trying to recover from the rope, trying to recover from what happened. Like he's lost his leg, from his legs. Um, he can't talk right with his tongue. He has no tongue. So he can't talk or eat food right without his tongue. And um, he has to learn how to talk and eat food. And um, they have fixed his, one of his hands. They try to lie to him that um, his, that he did not, only one of his um, um, body parts was, re was replaced. And that was his foot. So, yeah. And so he's had a bunch of his friends like come and see him, like his friends from school. We're now we're all adults now. Because it's been a couple of years. He's been in a coma and he woke up. So his friends came to see him, the ones who um his, the one who delivered his food and stuff like that. And his grandma, the only person who actually cares about him because his dad is in Peru now. Not really care for him. And also, um, his mom is dead. So, yeah. Since so she drove him, like, literally insane with on her, um, animatronic thing. And not able to be there for her boy. So, yep. And, like, his grandma's happy I, you came to your senses and stuff like that. So, yeah. And so she goes. He goes home with her, and every time, like night around like nine o'clock, she gets a call on her phone, and she makes sure to take him to like Sunday school. She makes sure that there's nothing in there that can make him think about anything bad, like no TV, no computers, no cell phone, because TV is what got him the idea to think himself as animatronic in the first place, which sounds boring, but yeah. So he like wanted to go back to the hospital, but then he realized 
that the animatronics coming to get him and this fact that it talks to him and it's coming like just like the big toe guy does Billy don't you want to baby seven again look what they have done to you so yeah but she he says no he does not want to take them and for a while I thought that it was, or he did take him, but apparently not. Because of what happens to the grandma later on. So around the end of this, so it goes to like meet a guy who helps him like get right, helps him like find a new interest in life for fishing named Frank. But he also gives him the idea to you and to write stuff, write stories. But the fact that he has been a robot all his life, he has not had many interests in writing, so he, what he's going to write about. And stuff like that. So he has to go out and um, learn stuff. So he ha he's thinking about going to the world. So he gets himself a new new feet, but actual better stuff that actual doctors know what they're doing because the one has helped him was a black market person. So yeah, and taken in by the cops. So his doctors help him. And he has to learn how to be an actual human and not a robot. So, yeah. And. But his grandma's getting weaker. And she's offered to let him have like, the grandfather clock that she was actually going to leave to her dad. But since her dad's not really being there for her for his son, he is not letting him have it. He's letting her have it. And when. um And. So. Instead, B, instead of the robot, B7 thing comes after his grandma. But the but let me read this to you. And the reason why I think is um since um it comes like the B, the where's that big like the big toe story? They come get you at the you after somebody eats the toe, and then they dig it out of you. And stuff like that, and that's basically what happens to his grandma. It digs it out of her, but she actually wants to die because she is what she's gonna die anyway. So, but when the B7 realizes the robot, because um, Billy comes in the room the night before she dies, the first night she dies, and watch it happens, where the robot tears her, tears it apart, tears her apart. So yeah. And she says she was terminal, so she was going to die anyway. So, yeah. So, I'm going to read this to you guys. The remaining rotting belly continued. Staring at them, magic upon his grandma, and still confronting the B7 part. The metal planting moving weaker now. And now the, the second part that Billy watched them, and they're slowly, finally, the medical moving to the completing and the clicking into the clicking increased. Billy looked from his grandma, staring his eyes to Lucy and Madeline to pack, and he could see that that over both his grandma and was left to be seven was dead were dead. And when it was it was all over, Billy wanted to just leave his grandma's house and forget seeing what he seen. He could almost leave what he like and sat and the rest of the night and in the morning. He used to rot the phone uh, phone to call Frank. I don't know why he didn't just call the cops, but I guess it's because how she died and I guess the pops would not want to believe it, so Frank helped him bury his grandma and drag his and drove Billy to the hospital so he could progress getting his new trots. I hope sure to take care of her house for as long as you need. Frank told Billy, and Billy had out of, of his old USV. Thank, thank you. 
he balanced the crushing of place of the going longer. Philly stepped back. Frank leaned out and gave Billy a long look. Go forth and have adventures, young man. You have experienced life writing something interesting. Billy nodded and lifted his head and waved Billy towards away and then Billy into the hospital. Two weeks later, Billy was walking out of the hospital without his crunch and then spotted two more limbs, new arms, new legs with latest fresh and red order and Billy had gotten used to them quickly. Extremely into the hospital wearing the new jeans and brown red stripe jeans into Billy and trucks well tributed to his grandma. Billy had his first adventure at just having. He's been living with Clark and Peter while he was processing being with his um new limos and be able to have a hangout with them, get new other guys and having staying with one more night was it the first his new life with his, with his life. Not sure whether he'll make right choices into having Billy planted a ticket into Lim Persia Peru an interest in trying to find his dad it was hopefully that he would be ready to throw himself to the unknown. He didn't wasn't wasn't sure how the trip would unfold. Maybe it'd be good. F maybe not. But either way, he'll figure out how to end up with life experience worth writing down. So yeah, there you go. And the next one will be called "Loan Together." So I've not listened to that one yet, but I'll let you know because. Oven snacks because I have. There's also that field guide, but I don't know what I'm listening to in the next Warriors book. But I'm probably gonna wait until I'm done listening to all of this before I listen to another book that I actually had to pay for. So, so I'll see you guys later. Like, favorite, and subscribe, and goodbye.